Hiya besties. It's that time of month again where I'm about to tell you that I don't know if these videos are gonna be like a thing going forward. And I don't want to sensationalize it and I don't wanna like create like sort of drama where there's no drama, but realistically, I really wanna get after this 20K challenge, this 200 envelope challenge. And having an extra four to 600 pounds would be really, really handy to do it. So I don't know, I don't know if my budget videos out at the moment I don't know if I've done it yet or whatever but as you can probably tell I pre-record these videos so I don't know what it's gonna look like it looks pretty positive at the moment but I don't know so who knows if I'm gonna see you next week but oh, I don't know I, I honestly don't know bestie so today we're cash having 150 pounds here she is let's count her out we've got 20 40 60 we've got 70 80 we've got 85 90 95 100 and we're gonna be sticking this into my savings challenges and and this is money that I've budgeted for. So let's get cracking. We are starting with Big Bertha. She is the four and a half K dice challenge. She is available on my Etsy store. And last week we completed the save 100 challenge. So I would like to take the coins out of this and get going. So essentially how it works is you have seven dice challenges for this and you have seven dice. Now mine are slightly different because I've added an additional one because I like to live life on the edge and I've also completed the save 100 so I've replaced that with a 20 sided dice to help me bolster the 1k challenge because that's the one that's floundering a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll every single dice every single week and see what I got. So let's roll these and um, <laughs> we can't do that 60, I know we can't. So I'm gonna have a decision to make when I get to the end of it. So let's move these. So let's start with the orange and let's move, Ooh, what was that? That was six, wasn't it? I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments if it was a different one. So let's do that. Let's put these together. So we've got a six and an 18, which would be good. And this says 60. So let's sort of figure that out like as we get along to it. So I'm gonna take some money out of here um, just to make life a bit easier for me. So I'm gonna take 10 out and put 10 in and then we'll get cracking. Right, so without further ado, it's a three for this one. So let's take out two and sign off the three. Let me get me Sharpie. So let's do that. So this is the one I'm gonna sort of focus on completing because I think it's the closest to completion. Next we have a six. So ooh, let me let me put in this because then I've got some five pound coins. So I've got five, five, five pound coins for in case I get a bit behind uh, next time. So that's a six. Next is a three. I've got three there. Um, should I? No, I'm gonna put in two. I'm gonna put in five and take two out of this one. Is this even in camera? No, not really. Fantastic. I'm sure you've been screaming, uh, going, I can't see what you're doing. Well done. Not like I've been doing this for like <laughs> three years now. Let's put four into this one and that makes a nice fiver there. And let's do a four. This one is an 11. Okay. So then I've got a six and an 18 which makes, oh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> All right, let's sign off the 11, which I can't do. So what I'm gonna do is just take that out and make it a 10. Just gonna change the rules, make it a 10. Now I do have enough, because I have 18 and six, which makes 24, and I do have 24. So let's do 24 in here and sign off both those numbers because that clears two, right? So let's go 18 and six. Perfect. So, so we rolled a 60 for this, but we don't have a 60. We have 40, 10, 70. We've got 20, 40 and 50. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put 40 in rather than... <laughs> kind of like, what's the point in rolling at this point? But... <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Right, okay, they're done, bestie, and they're looking good. Now, I could put some fives away into this one, but I have all month neglected my smaller saving challenges. So let's move this out of the way, and let's take a look at my other binder. 
So here she is. Um, I think the only one I can really do is a bit of clothing or month ahead. Last time I did clothing, um, and I mean, month ahead looks all right. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Or oh, that does make it round 200. Yeah, we're going to have to do that, aren't we? Okay, so there's 300 in month ahead and all of the money has been spent. Bestie, thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. Please give this video some love. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you are going to comment, please use this emoji. So yeah, like I don't want to over-dramatise anything and say, oh, I might not do these videos anymore, blah, blah, blah. I might not because I might make a conscious decision that the £400 is better spent going towards 200 pay. It makes my life more boring though. So... Have you considered becoming a channel member or a patron? Patrons get exclusive content, sneak peeks, and significant discounts off my Etsy store. Channel members get early access to every single video. In fact, they've seen this video long before you have, Bestie. If you like the sound of those perks and you like the sound of me, have a look at the links in the description. You will not regret it, Bestie. That's all we have for today. So until the next video, whatever that may be, next Saturday, I would like you to have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and have a wonderful budget. Always remember, don't trust Ira. And best thing, I'll leave you with the cash stuffing playlist. I mean, if you like cash stuffing, if you've enjoyed today's video, you're going to absolutely love this. So check it out.